I'm Tiger with Tiger Pro Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So as most of you probably know by now, JP Dokkan is about to be updated to version 4.3.0 very soon. And based on what we know right now, this update is bringing with it three very significant new features that are basically going to make our lives as Dokkan players so much easier. I'm extremely excited for them. So let's check them out together. So the first thing we have here, by the way, this is all from the official Dokkan Twitter page. But the first feature they mention is called Reward Boost. And it says with Reward Boost, you can increase your consumption ACT or stamina consumption and increase the amount of stage rewards you can earn at once. Let's use it when you want to quickly collect items and awakening medals. And they have a little video here, so I'll play that as we talk. But basically, from my understanding, you'll be able to double the amount of stamina you're spending per run to get double the reward. So whatever medals or character drops you get for a single run, this new feature is going to double it. Now, <laughs> Obviously, that's awesome because it's going to make grinds for medals and characters and all that stuff so much faster than before, or at least twice as fast. I'm not sure if it's going to be like a three times feature or four times. Obviously, the more bigger the multiplier, the better, in my opinion, but they're showing two times here. So I'm assuming maybe that there's only two times for the time being. But I recently just did the free to play metal cooler grind on global and uh, it took me about five hours but with this feature it could have taken me two and a half hours right so would have saved me half the time but unfortunately i didn't know about it <laughs> so kind of wish it was a thing that i saw on the horizon but either way i mean for global these features probably won't come for like i want to say maybe four or five months at minimum maybe six plus it really depends it really depends on what bandai wants to do of course this is all coming to jp first now i'm not sure if it only is for story events or if it's going to extend to like Dokkan events too. Uh, I didn't show anything about that so I'm not really sure. We'll have to see but um, it'd be awesome if it was also for Dokkan events. Unlikely though, most likely just story events but that's still a huge uh, awesome update, awesome feature that like I said it's gonna make our lives as Dokkan players just a lot easier man, a lot less painful. Now the next feature we're gonna talk about is uh, a new filter system and this is something I've been asking for for a very long time, man. So we will now be able to filter by both links. So you can filter by characters that have a specific link, like um, maybe over in the Flash, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, um, or some more niche links like All in the Family and so on and so forth. But you can also filter by character effects. So to my understanding, now I'm not 100% sure again, because some of the translations are kind of rough, but from what I understand, we can filter for characters that can heal or seal or stun or any of the other character effects in the game which is absolutely fantastic this new feature is going to make team building so much easier so much more effective so much more efficient and i absolutely love it like i said i've been asking for this feature for a very long time and i'm so glad they're finally implementing it so that's new feature number two and the last one we have here that we know about is in my opinion a little bit less exciting a little bit less useful than the other ones but still very cool to have and it basically allows us to see the super attacks of every single card in the game so as you can see they're using the lr great sandman one and two here as an example but i'm sure this applies to every single card like you know the new lr kale and khalifla or int goku black or basically every card in the game i don't even know why i'm like listing all of them but there you go guys through the display you can see all the super attacks in the game which is cool it's really nice and uh, that's pretty much it for today's video, man. That's all the features we know about. There might be more, but so far, these are the only three that Bandai has revealed to us. And I'm super excited for them, like I said in the beginning, man. They're all features that we've needed for a very long time. And it's cool to see that Bandai is actually putting in the effort to improve the game and optimize it more and more with every single update. Now, like I said, for Global, this could take a while to come because that's usually how it goes. For example, the uh, potential orb update where you could like fill the whole thing with a couple clicks. That took, I don't know, at least three to four months to come to global. So I would expect the same timeline for this one, three to four months, maybe up to six, but hopefully sooner than later. Now, I hope I'm wrong because, you know, Bandai always does things, you know, likes to change things up sometimes. So maybe they could drop it like fairly soon for global, but I wouldn't hold my breath for it. JP players, Enjoy the updates. It's going to be awesome. And that's all the information I have for you guys. Hope you guys found today's video useful. And as always, if you like the video, then make sure to like, 
the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now. And also hit that notification bell while you're at it. So that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I got to say. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media. Signing out.